Hey there, Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gartha, and in this video, let us understand what are functions in Python. Functions basically helps achieve reusability by giving a name to what a block of code. So if you have a block of code that you want to reuse again and again at n number of places, just write it, give it a name, and you can just reuse by calling it with the name. It also helps achieve modularity. It helps break down a large block of code into small chunk. This way, it also achieves separating business logic into small block of code, which also helps in future for any changes that you want to make. So only a small part of the code will be changed and rest all can remain as it is. To explain where the functions will be useful, I have created a small snippet of the code. Say for example, I have a small code where I am asking the user to choose any one of the following. Whether they want to find Niven number, unique number, Armstrong number or if they want to exit. Once they enter their choice, I check if the choice is between 1 and 4. Yes. Then I see if the choice is 1. I have to write the logic of Niven number. I have just not written the logic over here to keep it simple. If the choice was 2, I will be writing the logic for unique number. If the choice is 3, Armstrong number. But if the choice is 4 or anything else, I will say thanks for visiting and I will just break the loop. But if the choice was say 1, I write the logic of Niven number, I do that. And then I want to ask the user to again select any of the choices until user enters 4 to exit. So if I run this program, it's very very simple program. I haven't done much, so I say enter world of numbers. I say say 1, it goes, there will be the logic for Niven number. And then again it prints enter the world of numbers. Here I say 3, suppose there is logic for some Armstrong number. Again it says enter, enter the world of numbers. Now when I say 4, it exits. You would notice these chunks of code are being reused over here. I have just written a very small code, otherwise you will be lost in the complexity of the code. Now for example, I want to make changes. So my manager comes and says that you know choose C should be capital. Enter your choice E should be capital. After enter your choice, uh, I want to add something like this. I will have to make the same changes here as well. I will have to change this, I will have to change this, I will have to put a colon and hyphen over here. Tomorrow my client comes and says, no, fine, you know, I uh, when the program runs, so if you would see when the program runs, it says one and dot. I don't want a dot. Say for example, I want a hyphen, right? I will have to make changes at all the four places over here and I have to repeat those changes over here. How about if there was a way where instead of just writing this, I would tell Python, hey, go back to line number one, right? Line number one and please go ahead and print this again over here. How about if I had a choice to do that? That's where exactly functions pitches in. So what we just discussed, functions are what? A block of code. So I have a block of code that is repeated to which I can give a name. Now I want to give this particular block of code that starts from here till here because it is displaying a menu. I will say display menu. Now when I just write display menu, it can be a variable, right? How do I distinguish a variable from something that is representing a block of code? That's where you put round brackets. Now we know that every time a block of code starts with a colon. So the moment I have a colon, I understand these will execute only till the time this condition is true. Now right? that in Python, a block of code starts with a colon. But now these are special block of code that will execute and they have been given a name as display menu so i have defined the block of code 
I use a keyword DEF. So yes, you can see we have created our first function with the name as display menu and the syntax is it starts with the keyword DEF to define what the corresponding function is doing. What it is doing? It is used to display the menu. That's it. Done. Now I want to repeat this twice, right? So I'll, I'll the, the block name is display menu followed by open and closed round bracket. Again, I have to make a call to the same block here. So I want to say, hey, call the display menu. So call the function display menu. See if I run. one space see enter your choice I say one okay. Hold on. I'll have to put this outside and again over here okay right. so this menu at least I don't have to repeat now if I run it again enter choice one you can see I am so easily able to display the choice again. 2, I say 4 and I say thanks for visiting. Again, so functions basically provide you with reusability. Now if I want to make any changes, as discussed, I just have to make changes at one place and it is being used twice just by calling this block of code with a name that is display menu. That's all for this video. In next video, there are various ways of creating functions that we will see and we will also see a few programs using functions. Till then, happy learning, take care and bye-bye.